Usually in a drama, the actors will have uh, what's known as motivation. This enables them to deliver a line uh, with the correct emotion according to the writer's intention and move the story along. Um, the motivation of the producers and broadcasters of a drama usually is just money. It's as simple as that. There's a thing on tonight uh, about uh, on Channel 4 um, which claims to be a docu-soap or docu-drama. I'm not exactly sure what they're calling it. What it actually is, is a party political broadcast on behalf of the Everybody Except UKIP party, uh, because those are the two divides in today's politics. As I see it, there's UKIP and then there's everybody else. Um, now, the, the the motivation of the... Uh, of the producers and the broadcasters in this case is clear. The uh, the broadcaster is, not everybody's aware of this, but Channel 4 is actually taxpayer funded to an extent, not totally like the BBC, but it is partially. But this particular production is funded by the European Union. Um, therefore, it's in the interests of all concerned for it to be an anti-UKIP attack piece, which is, I'm sure, what it's going to be. Realistically, there isn't any difference. It makes no actual difference to the uh, elite, the political media elite, who holds the keys to number 10, because the, the keys to number 10 aren't the big prize. The... Um, ongoing seat in the first class carriage on the EU gravy train is the big prize. That That's what it's all about. Um, UKIP, under the uh, excellent leadership of Nigel Farage, are the uh, organisation most likely to, to cause that gravy train to slam into the buffers. And nobody, except for a large um, number of the electorate and UKIP wants that to happen and so hence this attempt to um, further derail the democratic process by dressing up this um, anti-UKIP attack piece as some kind of drama stroke docu-soap um, you know let's call it what it is it's an attack piece and um if we understand the motivation behind it, then less people will be taken in by it, and by definition more people will see through it and recognise it as part of a greater malaise, which is the, the media, the mainstream media, um, and the political elite, the, the two main parties, uh, the two former main parties, Labour, Tory, to a much lesser extent, the Liberal Democrats and then the Loonies, the Greens and so forth. They're all in this thing together. They, they all stand to gain from maintaining the status quo. That's the reality. I think this is going to backfire spectacularly on Channel 4 and on their uh, paymasters because people um, post the advent of, of mass communication via the internet don't need to get their news or opinions uh, from the traditional sources, television and the newspapers. They're becoming less and less relevant, which can only be a good thing. Um, I understand, I, I don't know if this, is, if this is true because I haven't seen it yet, but I understand they're actually going to use footage possibly as a cost-cutting thing, of actual um, street disturbances and riots, if you like to call it that, that have occurred in the past in Britain, obviously under the leadership of somebody other than UKIP. UKIP have never been in a position of leadership, so it can't be down to them, however much they would like to imply that it is. And they're going to use this footage, I think, um, to sort of imply that within the first 100 days of a UKIP um, parliament or a UKIP government, 
the, the, there will be rioting. Um, we've already had this. This isn't a new phenomenon. There may well indeed be rioting uh, in the future. And, uh, it, you know, it may well be driven by something other than just the naked greed and need for flat screen televisions and new trainers or, or the collapse of the multicultural experiment that Labour foisted upon us under Blair. Um, who knows? Nobody can say what won't happen in the future. Um, but, we, but we can... Be quiet, Marley, I'm busy here, son. But we can um, dispute the intentions of the people who are putting this story forward. I think that's the, that's what we can say there. Um, so that's that's how I see it. I don't think this is going to have the desired effect or the effect desired by the people who are putting this programme out there. I really don't. I hope and believe that uh, enough people will see through it to bring about an overthrow of the current system by democratic means. Uh, there's another bit of motivation. I leave aside the money aspect for a moment. If uh, some decent, honest, i.e. UKIP people, enough of them get into Parliament and get their hands on the levers of power uh, therein, then um, certain uh, historic and fairly recent um, modes of behaviour, uh, which are illegal, massively illegal in some cases, certainly immoral, are going to come to light. The public won't like this, you know, so maybe there's the source of any potential future riots, who knows. But um, within the elite, heads are going to roll, metaphorically, obviously. You know, we're not Islamists, sorry. Um, so the, there's an awful lot to be lost by the current um, government stroke media uh, elite. Uh, an awful lot for them to lose by UKIP um, getting anywhere near the centre of power. That... I would suggest is the entire seedy, nasty motivation behind the appearance of this programme um, so near to a general election. Uh, I hope everybody else sees it that way. I trust they will. Um, people are nowhere near as stupid. Uh, uh, the, the ones that are stupid now are choosing to be stupid. We were all fairly ill-informed, um, but not so much now. We have the internet and... Onwards and upwards, vote you, Kip. That's what I'd be saying. Give that, by the way, give that a call to looking at. You know, have a look, if only to see uh, who is advertising during the advert breaks and boycott them, if you like. I certainly will. That's just me. As you were.